look out there. Come in Team November, Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ, rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf, claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Bad ass motherfuckers. We'll be here, over and out. Read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon in there. When Jeffy ripped the robo arm off that scar collector and cracked up. I was gonna ask about the article. Shootout in Little Vegas! Off duty Marshal slain! Maybe I'll join the Marshals. I do like to fuck people a lot. Hi, y'all! Name Snap Lance! That this uh, <coughs> that's kind of creepy. Yeah, welcome back, children. Had another rough night? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant, is what I am. V I G I L A N T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. 
That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just know it. <sighs> okay, Rosie. We got it. Space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned translation vectors. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. Doxy compatible comments to the affected keys visitor. Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars. One, three, five, seven, eleven, eleven, and eleven. Secret at last! Sacramento, California. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The world is ours, Josephine. Do you know where you are going to? Do you like the things that wife is showing you? One, three, five, seven, eleven, eleven. And eleven... Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars! <laughs>
target is unaware.
wife about it. Clocks. I don't want to talk about it. Clocks. Man. Clothes. You can't leave me alone. Clothes! Oh, the classics. An old security drone. Clocks. Its timing belt broke, so it, uh... What was all that noise? Did you just have a shootout in apartment three? Actually, don't answer that. Just tell me what Irv is doing in there. Well, I'm not paying you one Colorado penny until you can tell me for sure. Must be some kind of evidence in there. If I'm gonna evict a tenant for misconduct, I need all the proof I can- Ah, <sighs> this place attracts all the crazies. Um, I guess. Wh who are you? I... I... I'm Irv. What do you want?
I... Uh... Please don't tell the Marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself, and I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? Or, uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't, I wasn't suggesting, no. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate, how some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I, I swear. You believe me, don't you? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He... he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Oh, thank God. So, you're not gonna arrest me. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! Uh, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you, I promise. Thank you so much! Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Ah, serves me right for asking, I guess. Well, thanks anyway. Here's a little something for getting him out. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie.
exchange between Rangers and Marshals. Will there be blood? Find out here. You read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, a real funny cartoon in there. When Jeffy ripped the robo arm off that scar collector. Hackett's people are nice enough, but they're really underfoot. You sure? Oh, uh, uh, found it. Sorry, 2B. Good. Okay. 4A. Yep. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting! I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the book. It's incredible! Waffle phones for if you get hungry during a call. Uh, yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Okay, well, how exciting! Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone, so if anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them. Now, put your palm on the machine right here. <laughs> this one can talk! This too shall pass! Hi, Rangers! It's good to see you again. Uh, what can I do for you? Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. You can do it!
in charge in here. You're the CO around here? <laughs> okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice, and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Jesus. You're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Not on my watch. We cap him as soon as we see him. Don't give him a chance to talk. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You wanna go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly, but there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street, wounded some sieves. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. between rangers and marshals will there be blood find out here by order of the patriarch only authorized personnel are to pass this g my uncle gideon reyes wants to speak to the rangers oh of course miss wesson open it up fellas no one's allowed in there which word didn't you understand? Please, step away. Too soon to be back. What brings you to Broadmoor? So they killed the lesson. Are those pants canvas? How droll. Rangers. 
I'm not supposed to let anyone near this servitor drone. It's malfunction. <laughs> <clears throat> Too soon to be back. So they killed the Wessons, the Shooters, the Jacksons, Sophia Gutierrez, too, and her kids. Patriarch. Please step back, Rangers. I'm not supposed to let anyone near this servitor drone. Ongoing investigation or, or something. How should I? Yeah, please step back. Mode. Rangers status. Objective lock. Lift a few things for you in the yard. Honey, love that. That was Dad. Always thinking ahead. Compensating for error. Searching directive in the... I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. You just want eye candy. Guilty. Don't forget, bingo is at 7 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bring your own wine. This is a place of respite. Be vigilant, for the deluge could come at any time. Perhaps it's already begun in the dying east, sweeping a tide of refugees across the plains. Added more guards, looks like.
delivery for the patriarch from the Sumner family. I've told you before, Drone. Patriarch is an interest. Departing respectfully. Did you hear what happened in Aspen? All those people taken hostage? If it's really Vic who has them, they're all as good as dead. Don't say that to Miriam Knox. Her husband was there. Find the door to the bunker, slightly ajar. I, I listen at the door. Make a, a perception roll. It's awful dark out here. Maybe we should go inside. This was your idea. He said it would be cool to play a game in the park. I got a 15. Do I hear anything? You hear a faint scraping sound inside. Uh, like the sound of a skeletal foot dragging across stone. It's coming closer. Did you hear that? It's just the wind. Ah! A pale dog! There's a pale dog watching us! What? Where? I don't see... It's coming after us! Run! Mama used to love sitting in here. She'd be ashamed at the mess it's in now. Mama used to love sitting in here. Wow. Daddy really didn't want any Dorsey's to muck around with his cooking supplies. No point looking back there. It's smashed up even worse, and the Dorseys took everything worth stealing. Only person who knew the combination to that safe was my mom. If you think you can guess it, I don't mind.
no trespassing. Yep, the Dorsey's done tore through here and gutted the house. Until the Castillos can get this eyesore repaired, we're keeping it boarded up. I told you. Hmm? Yes? Oh, <laughs> hello. Uh, you must be the Rangers. I'm Diligent Joe, uh, the Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. Some of the families used to drop off gifts for the Patriarch, trying to gain political advantage. He got sick of dealing with it and banned the practice. That one drone won't give up, though. Terrible nuisance. Uh, it used to be that we held town hall meetings where citizens could bring their grievances before him, but uh, that practice has changed in the last year or so uh, due to uh, security concerns. Good day. The guards who get posted here are so full of themselves. You're cleared for public areas only. Stop! The Patriarch likes it quiet in here. So do we. No sudden moves, understand? Imagine the jolly times around this table. Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? That's why you're here. To help make the chaos go away. Now what can I do for you? Ask them. Why? Are you getting ideas? Uh, 
I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me. And... Well... Until they attacked the city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neelius led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. 